The Lament Configuration, or the Puzzle Box, is the primary gateway to Hell and the means to summon the Cenobites, servants to the Leviathan. As stated in the Hellraiser series, it is not hands that open the box, but it is desire. Those who serve Hell can only be summoned through desire, seeking hidden pleasures, sadistic truths of this plane of existence, and ultimately, those hunting for the darkest of desires. If the box merely fell from person to person, Hell would not be very active, and the Cenobites would not often get summoned. So the box itself is actively distributed, with purpose, into the hands that have the desires behind them to summon the explorers of pain and pleasure. A question I've received many times is who is the homeless man? The roaming vagabond in Hellraiser and the subsequent movies. Who is the man that questions, what's your pleasure, sir? The very same man that passes the lament configuration onto Frank, and also ultimately, Elliot Spencer, the man who would become Pinhead. This is the guardian of the lament configuration. When the box was created by Philippe Lemarchand, it required protecting, guarding, and ultimately distributing to those that could open it. So a creature was given life, created and tasked with the lament configuration. The Guardian is not actually a human, but a shape-shifting demon from Hell, whose true form is similar to a skeleton of a dragon, with long black horns protruding from what would have been its empty eye sockets. The Guardian has bat-like wings, though in skeleton form, along with a long tail. The creature has been shown to have various abilities, primarily its intelligence, this is not some dumb beast from hell. This is a cold and calculating creature. It was shown to stalk Kirsty throughout the first film, striking fear into the poor girl. Later, he would reveal himself in his true form as he walks into the fire to pick up the lament configuration, turning into his demonic form and then flying off, proving the creature is impervious to flame. The Guardian, though tasked with the Lament Configuration, would also be the one to sell the Pillar of Souls to the unwitting JP in Hellraiser Hell on Earth, perpetuating Hell's grand design once more and ensuring the Box and the Cenobites can continue their work. The Guardian can, of course, fly, as shown when we see him at the end of the first movie. Aside from this, we haven't seen any other abilities. It could be assumed that his fate is linked to the box in some way, though obviously that is just a theory. So who is the homeless man, and what is that creature at the end of Hellraiser? It is a demon, a servant of Hell, the guardian of the lament configuration, and perpetuator of the pleasure of pain bringing the box to those that seek it. If you have any questions surrounding the Hellraiser universe and franchise on a whole, please drop them down below in the comment section, as in terms of exploring the characters from the universe, there won't be enough content to continue the series that much longer. However, this is a world that I love and adore, and I'm happy to continue talking about it as long as there is an interest from those that have enjoyed the series thus far. However, before I go, did you know about this homeless man? Did you know what the creature was? And do you think we will ever see the Guardian again? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and if you want to see more Hellraiser related videos, then hit that subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and sharing it as it does help the channel out. And if you want to support me, the channel, and what I do, then please head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comment section.